Thomas and Mr. Percival were waiting at the transfer yards, and so were the coal cars. But Duncan wasn't there. Mr. Percival was worried. Now Madge took Duncan to the top of a hill. What are we doing up here? Duncan puffed. You'll see, smiled Madge. Then they raced down the hill. Madge slid around corners and skidded over bumps. Hooray! Duncan laughed. But halfway down the hill, there was a very sharp turn, and the road was very icy. Watch out! puffed Duncan. Oh no! gasped Madge. She braked hard, but it was too late. Madge started to slip and spin around and around. They crashed through a snowbank. Bust me boiler, cried Duncan. They were hanging over the edge of the valley. Madge looked down over the edge. It was a long way down. Oh no, Duncan moaned. What am I going to do? Madge groaned. Madge rocked and teetered. Slowly, she revved her engine. Inch by inch, Madge reversed back onto the road again. Phew! That was close, Duncan chuffed. Madge set off for the transfer yards, but on the way she saw another very bumpy and very slippery road. That looks like fun, Duncan puffed excitedly. We're late, called Madge. I have to get you to the transfer yards to help Thomas. So Madge drove on. Madge wanted to be safe and sure. She went all the way without slipping or sliding once. Duncan was disappointed. But he knew Madge was right. He had work to do. Soon Duncan was back on the rails. He shunted the freight cars quickly into place. The workmen transferred all the coal into Thomas's freight cars. Thank you, Duncan, tooted Thomas. Good job! And he chuffed away. That evening, Madge went to visit Duncan. Madge pulled into the sheds. All the little engines were there. Duncan had told them all about his day out with Madge. Thank you for a grand time, puffed Duncan. The roads really are as much fun as the rails. I'm glad you had fun, said Madge. And just for fun, Madge spun her wheels and sprayed some snow all over the little engines.